Hello, everybody, and welcome to Between Two Desks. I'm Riley, your desk. And by that, I mean welcome to Desks and Dorks. I'm Riley, the desk to Kyle's dork. And today, as always, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Kyle, the dork to Riley's desk, and this has been incredible. And we have already. a special guest with us today. Hi, I'm, I'm Miles the Weasel. Uh, you know what? what the Weasel gonna be... is now canon in Desks and Dorks uh, lore. We're going to create a wiki, don't worry. <laughs> it's going to be like Blue's Clues, because like Hannah's the ampersand, and then like Riley, like, you're the, do de the desk, Miles is the weasel. I'm going to dress in a green striped <laughs> shirt at some point. Like, it's just, it's going to be great. I'm very looking forward to the Blue's Clues metaverse version of Desks and Dorks. Let's do it. We get mail. Oh, we should get a P.O. box. We could, we could do mail. Could do a mail segment. On that beautiful note, you know, folks. PO boxes are only sixty three dollars at the post office right a month now for six months. For six months, I believe oh, so. that's like less than. Is that not bad? It's less than eleven dollars a month. Uh, yeah. Let us know on, at deskanddorks at gmail yeah. .com if you would like us to get a PO box for sixty three dollars for six months. Um, and for those of you not aware, the reason that we're slightly disorganized is because for one of the few times we are doing a live ish episode in Woo! that we're together here. We have Miles. For those of you that are not super familiar and haven't listened to us a lot, yes, we have the weasel with us. <laughs> um, and he is one of the owners at Let's Play Games and Hobbies, and the game store in Hannah, Most importantly, why, why we were having him on is that Miles is a trivia guru. Um, this man has made some of the best and most fun trivia games I have ever played. And so we did a segment a couple weeks ago where Riley and I came up with really poorly worded descriptions of board games. We had to guess them. We got one point each. I won, um, but we we thought it would be a really cool idea to have somebody who is much better at asking questions and running trivia to hop on the show with us. That's where Miles comes in. Um, also, Miles did an episode with me a while ago about the games that we uh, were so crushingly disappointed in, mm -hmm. which remains one of my favorite episodes. And I still haven't bought Bioshock as a result of that episode. That's yeah, that's disappointing, but it, it makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm any better than this, but I was really excited to do this. When I heard you guys, uh, when I listened to that podcast of you guys doing it, I, I had to tell my boss, I'm going home early. I need I need time to relax and to, to put my thoughts together. You know? <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> and then we go, the day of, we go, hey, we need to push it back a week. Yeah. <laughs> so we pushed it back a week, and here we are. Uh, but I am ready, if you guys are. Um, the overview here is I'm going to ask you guys, I have three questions each individually. Oh my gosh. And they're going to be three levels, kind of like you did, but basically if you get it on the first one, you get three points. If you need a hint, you get two points. If you need a second hint, you'll get one point. Ooh, a little more structure okay. there. All right. Already All right. better. And then uh, afterwards, I have five questions that's going to be pitched to both of you. So you'll know what the scores are and stuff, so you'll have to decide you want to lock in early and what have you. So. Interesting. Okay. And it's whoever's the first one to get the correct answer on those. But you will both lock, you can lock in early, and then we can just keep going. Like, you'll write down your answer, and we can keep going for you. And oh. you'll, get, you'll get as many points as whatever you but lock in. Hint, but the hints keep... Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Oh, okay. The, hint, the hints stop coming, and they don't stop coming. So... Mm -hmm. That's not that first of many. Smash we did indeed hit the ground running. We are going to hit the ground running. All right, let's do this. All right, so to decide who goes first, uh, I need each of you to pick a number. That's all. Seven. 17.5. Or is it between one and ten? Uh, actually, it was 17.38, so it's going to be uh, Kyle. Yeah! That's, that's it Price is right rules. All right. Wait, do I actually go first? Yes, okay. yeah, we'll have you go first. All right, I'm excited. <clears throat> Take the jacket off, man. I'm Before ready. you start reading, as a quick preface, like we said, we're doing that. For one of our few times, we are, like I said, doing a live video, and you get to see a very poorly lit Between Two Ferns knockoff. All right, there we go. Beautiful. I'm ready. It's supposed to show the angelic nature of, uh, of Riley over there. Mm. YouTube.com slash Desks and Dorks if you're not already watching. Subscribe. All right, question one. I'm ready. An exclusive club of individuals gather to boil leaves for a year. Oh, is this Tea Dragon Society? Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes! My most hated game of all time. <laughs> right, so that's three points that's three off three the points. game. Wow, that was, that was awesome. I love that it's an exclusive club, too. <laughs> just so that... I mean, obviously we already answered the question at home, but what are the other two questions? I'm just curious. Yeah, uh, what are the two hints? Yeah, uh, it was, man, these seasons are really dragging on, and this game plays itself, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, that is the most uh, entertaining that T-Dragon Society has ever sounded. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You might be a miracle worker, Miles. That was awesome. <laughs> so now that Kyle has made that happen in 10 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and get zero points on uh, mine. You got Let's this. Go. I believe in it. Let's I believe see. In yeah, it. you got to come out of the gate strong here. All right. Get the ground running. Question number one for you. 
travel around a beach town and stay at your competitors' resorts. Oh gosh. I know this one. I was saying, you know what I, it I is. Absolutely. You know if I've ever played it. I suspect so. I, I, I made sure I was going out of okay, my way to, all right. that it would be in your wheelhouse. <laughs> I, all right. I absolutely know what this game is off the oh. rip. Off the rip. Do you know if I played it, Kyle? I, I, am I allowed to tell him that? You have played it. You have played it. I have it. played you it. Have okay. For sure played it. All right. We're going to go ahead and. I love it. Ah. I'm going <laughs> to do a second love, guess. I, I don't worry. It's only for two. I That's love fine. it. The cops are so strict around here, they'll throw you in jail for speeding. Is this really Monopoly? <laughs> it is. It really is. It absolutely is. That oh, was. Oh that's, gosh. What's also, the, third the audio because we're in person, the audio might be slightly echoey. I apologize, yeah, it's, folks. Oh my gosh. Okay, what was the third hit? I have to know. Uh, even though it's almost a hundred years old, millennials can still relate to it since the whole thing is about not being able to pay your ever increasing rent prices. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh, oh. That's awesome. Much like yours, that's most appealing I think Monopoly has ever found. Uh, yeah, to me. that is for sure. I, I was hoping you, you have an Enron hat on right now. I thought maybe you'd be able to pull that one off. Well, it. the beach house one was the part that I was like, ah, I don't know about beach houses. Right. The moment you talk about speeding, it's like, all right, it's Monopoly. I mean, Boardwalk and Park Place are both, like, all of yeah. them, yeah, I was going to say, and all of them are based on properties in Atlantic City, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, that's so funny. That's oh, so funny. That was funny. good. All right, Kyle. It really is proof see. that all the glitter is really isn't gold. Uh, all, right. all right. We're going to have to cut this episode. We're <laughs> no, gonna have to no, this I'm doing it. <laughs> all right, Kyle, number two. Yes. Do you have the balls to make something better than a baking soda volcano? Ooh. All right, if I guess now and I get it wrong, am I allowed to get a second hit? No, once you lock in, that's it. Oh, God. Do Very I have strict. the balls to make something better than a baking soda volcano? Oh. Now you're in the lead right now by a point, so you can you have a little more wiggle room if you need to hear the second one. Uh, I'm I'm gonna get a second one, or I'm gonna be mad if I I'm, I'm gonna get a second one. I'm gonna get a second hit, but I'm okay. gonna be very mad if I I get it wrong. I think I know what it is, but I want to be sure. It takes a lot of energy to build an engine this good. Oh, it's gizmos. It I is. was right. I was my, that was my first guess too. Was gizmos. Yep. No. Ah, because it takes place at a science fair. Yep. Oh, I'm so mad I didn't just go for it. Oh, okay. All right. Can I tie it out? Probably not. Oh, that's, the that's depressing. Lighting. All right, Riley, number two. Smart individuals show their true colors, and someone finds out they were the bad guy the whole time. Oh, I know what this is, too. That makes me think it's an eight, it's a 12-player party game. Oh, I know exactly what this is. I can't think of the name of it to save my life. It's the one that is not... Ooh. Do I want to take? Do I want to guess wrong, oh. or do I want a second hint? You, you said that? true colors. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and guess, and mm -hmm. I'm probably wrong here, but I also don't know the name, and I'm gonna need some assistance it's, here. It's Is it not Cash and Guns, but that other party Dead, game? Are you talking about Dead Last? Dead Last. Mm -hmm. Is that your guess? Yes. Uh, well, you're locking in with that, and unfortunately, you're no. wrong. Is, All right. It is Clue. It is. Oh, it's Clue. I felt way too heavy on that one. Okay. I don't what mean your to, other guesses? I don't mean to throw a wrench in the system, but why didn't we just call the cops at the beginning? How did I get roped into this investigation? Oh, oh I should have wanted to the second the guess. The rope is so good. That's, so good. That's such a good hint. And the last one is, this has been a miserable dinner party, but at least I got to meet Tim Curry. <laughs> so. That beautiful VHS version <laughs> of Clue. Dude, I have the VHS version of Clue. The movie or the VHS game? Oh, the movie. Okay. Actually, I did have the VHS game, uh, and then sold it, because I realized that I was never going to play it. Yeah, that's it was, probably I sold fair. it for a crisp $5. It's, Dude, it is you me. oversold it, probably. I, I probably did. Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> it is definitely the best uh, movie that's based on a board game, but that is a low bar to clear. Um, it's a very good you movie. You have though. approximately four options. <laughs> Movies that are based on board games? Yeah, Jumanji. Battle oh, Jumanji also. Zathora. Uh, Battleship. Not ter not ter Zathora was not terrible. And Battleship was terrible. Well, what was the fifth one? Is there another one? No, Clue and Clue and yeah. Jumanji are both bangers, though. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, Jumanji is Jumanji a book movie or a board game movie? Technically, they, they created the board game. I think af with the movie. I don't think the board game existed. No, the board game existed after the book came out. Oh, okay. The the board game predates the film, but I don't know if but we it count this as a, the book. It doesn't. But I think the board game is the reason the movie got made. I don't think the book was all that oh. popular. Like when I t ask, when I tell kids or we talk about Jumanji at school, kids are like, "Oh, the board game." 
no one is like, oh, the classic Rudyard Kipling book. Well, well I do want to remind you the age that you're talking with, though. But even when I was in elementary school, I didn't know it was a book until our and when did the book come out? Seventh grade teacher Kipling. told us. I don't think I don't actually know if it's Kipling or not. Don't Google it. It's I, fine. I will give it later. But yeah, I think. But surprisingly, board game movies for like. I'm going to count Zathora. Three for four is pretty good. Okay. Zathora's not bad. No, but I would terrible. say Clue is still one of the better ones. Clue is, Clue is just a good movie in exactly. general. That's, so no, I, I agree with you like, on that statement. Aside from Knives Out, that is the most fun I've had watching a whodunit movie ever. Mm -hmm. I loved Knives Out, though. Knives Out is good. Never seen it. Oh, well worth it. Daniel Craig pretends to be a uh, Kentucky-based private investigator. It... Uh, there's a whole speech about donuts and donut holes that is one of the funniest things I've ever listened to. Captain America is a just a smarmy frat boy. It's just great. It's just all right, a Kyle. Great, we're gonna have you. We're, we're gonna segue back. Yeah, to let's go back. Let's go back. We're not let's even segueing it. All right, number three. <clears throat> smarmy frat boy aside, this is a little bit trickier, I think. Okay. Do the prep work for a completely different game and see who wins. What? Do the prep work for a completely different game and see who wins. And I've played this. Uh, I have my suspicions. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. You will at least be will be aware of it. All right, give me another hint. That's crazy. Do the prep work for a completely different game and see who wins. Are you classy enough to align your dice? Oh, God. It's going to be like Gonchon Clever or like Yahtzee or something like that. Oh uh, God! I'll take a third hint. Okay. That's so hard. Dude. I need you to fail it. I need you to fail it. Maybe I can. I can catch up. We'll see. Play session zero in board game form. Oh, it's role player. Yep. It's okay. role player. That's kind of wow. What I was. All right. That's really good. Do the prep. That's really good. Oh God! I'm glad I got the third. I'm glad I got the third hint because I was gonna go with like Gonchon Clever or like Yahtzee or like uh -huh. some sort of push your luck. Yeah. Yeah. Dice rolling game. But then we were like, oh, it's Session Zero. Like, oh my God! It's role play. That's such a. Oh. That's good. I still haven't played that game. For those of you, I still haven't either. Wow. Still have not either. You are right. I am super familiar with it. I think anyone in the board game space is gonna be familiar with it because it's such a popular game right now. Yeah. I mean, obviously they have a whole role player universe. Well, now they have a role playing game. And they do role player game they have a role player role playing game yeah. that that just that's some weird Truman Show esque kind of stuff mm -hmm. that's incredible but yeah no and it's got it's own it's it's own universe now the Marvel Cinematic Universe of board games <laughs> is it that big uh six titles now I oh, think okay. the role playing game role player role player lock up lock up uh the role player cartographers and then there's a fifth one Oh, cartographers is in that universe. Yes, interesting. Cartographers is uh, cartographers is in that universe. I think it's. I think there's a fifth one I'm missing, not counting expansions. So what you need to work on is tying all those games together, so you can play all of them as one big. All of them game. as one. And yep. Listen, I, that's a better use of my time than sitting there considering how many Red Dragon in games there are. Just way too many. There's a lot. Way too. Many it's a games. fine way, game, way but too many it's not. Answer. Not deserving of 16 games. Hopefully Michael doesn't listen to this podcast. He knows. Okay. He definitely will. He For the record, he told me he was going he to be. <laughs> Love you, Michael. <laughs> I mean, Michael's been the subject of one of our episodes. We talked about games that, like, we will only play with certain people. Or, like, certain people who make the game better. And, like, Michael is the only reason I will even play Red Dragon. In. I've only played it with him, and I think it's an yeah, enjoyable game. It is, it's enjoyable but solely again. because he exists in that space. Okay. Like, that, that part, like, he does the party every year where we make specialty drinks and we play. Like, what a blast. But, like, I would not touch the game if it was not for him. So, shout out to Michael. You're the best, dude. All right. Well, you got, you got some work ahead of you. This is going to be a rough worry. one. If we look at Kyle's scores, they've just been slowly going going down. So, I think in, the next, in the next down. round, uh, his is just going to go negative. If I think you can. And that's the goal. Yeah. If you can get three points on this, you're, like, only one point behind me, though. It's yep. true. I'm not, but let's do it. I mean, I'm proud of you. You got this, dude. Number three. It's true bliss to get a bunch of idiots to do your job for you. It's true bliss to get a bunch of idiots to do your job for you. Oh, God, I don't know what this is. Uh-oh. It has to be a worker placement game, but I'm going to need that second hint. Okay. I know this is set in the future, but it sure feels like it's from 1984. Oh, my God, I know what it is. Is this... I'm going to need... Oh you want to lock in? You've got an idea. Oh, folks at home, this is a rough one. <laughs> oh, God, I know exactly what it is. I'm going to need... No, I'm going for the third hint. 
Okay. I'd rather a potential for one pointer oh. than a zero pointer again. I'm not saying your team is lame, but your workers are all squares, man. Ooh. We're all squares. Yeah, just, uh, I, I, I was going to lock this in on the second hit, but it I definitely is this. Yep. It definitely is. It 100% is. That first hit, though. Man, that first clue. <laughs> no clue. Zero. Give me your first one again. It's true bliss to get a bunch of idiots to do your job, job for you. For you. <laughs> it's so much better now that I know what the title of the game is. Oh my god, Miles. Ooh, this is a good one, but a rough one. I don't know if I'm going to get this. Do you like TV shows of uh, high schoolers that are addicted to drugs? That's That might help. I think I'm concerned. <laughs> Bro, you had it. Just say with it. I'm, go, I'm sticking with you for it. It is. But. That is correct. Oh, yeah. It has to be. Bliss oh. is a resource in the game. That's okay. Bliss is a resource oh in the God. game. That's I what's so I should have taken it for two points, but that makes me feel better that I at least had an inkling. Oh yeah, yeah. no, you you were right on oh, the, the, the that truth. was good. And the dice are workers, so it makes sense that they're squares. squares. The fact oh, that you man. snuck Bliss though into the first clue is <laughs> insane to me. God, now Ooh. I can't I can't believe I'm saying this. Now I actually want to play Euphoria. <laughs> That's oh. what I'm here to do, folks. Oh, oh God. Is that before or after Key Dragon Society? Uh, I actually love Euphoria as a design. I, I'm still waiting for like Jamie Stegbar to send us an email and be like, hey, do you guys want to review the expansion? Because the expansion is literally just like you swap out all of the base stuff for the expansion content, and the board is mostly the only thing that stays the same. Okay. So if it takes the co the board, the dice, and I think the... Um, oh my gosh, not the assistants. Whatever the, the stack of recruits, that's what they are. I think those stay, all stay the same. Mm -hmm. So if it's a change of like the stuff that I didn't like, which was how unbalanced everything felt like in the mid and late game, mm -hmm. coupled with that foundation concept, and it wasn't designed by Jamie, mm -hmm. which is the other crazy thing. People are just like, hey, we really loved Euphoria, and so here's this whole alternate thing that we did. And he's like, did you want us to publish it? And they were like, yeah. And he's like, Shh, go ahead, <laughs> and we'll publish it. And they did it. Like, what a, I don't know, what a cowabunga it is kind of mindset, and I, I want to try it. Because, again, I think Euphoria is, like, the most compelling foundation for a board game I've played. Mm -hmm. Whereas T-Dragon Society just should be punted into, like, the Mariana Trench. Yeah, that's not the first time he's done a fan-made thing that he makes into real. I would love to see that in other in other businesses. Like, like, somebody paints the perfect, like, the Mona Lisa's painted, and they come up like, I could paint a different one slightly better. Okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, he did it with My Little Scythe, too, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a cool dude. My Little Scythe, by the way. Kind of a nominee. Yeah, kind of a low-key banger, actually. I uh, played that the other day with a nine-year-old, and I and? I, uh, I lost. <laughs> That's, who'd you play it with? My niece. That's awesome. And my wife. And I dead last. <laughs> dead last. Just got, just, just got absolutely... Just I would have gotten even more, except I had to play, like, adult mindset against her. Otherwise, I would have gotten trapped. Did, did so Janelle hard. just roll both of you guys? Um, or did Miranda win? I think... I think because... I went full attacking Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> I attacked my knee. I I, I took. I well, it's a mechanic. Just, just you mouth up. In I know. Just mouth I, up. And because you're like, I wasted my resources. Nine -year -olds. <laughs> <laughs> I believe my wife won, but just barely. That's and it's amazing. only because I I just so Janelle just went right for the jugular. Oh yeah, I'm so proud. I I don't even know you. Like I've never hung out with your nine year old niece, and I'm so proud of her. That's oh. incredible. That's why board games exist is to, to beat kids through the board game. That, yeah, that's yeah. all you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, she still beat me. I just made it so that she wouldn't fool you. We so obviously we run the board game club over at the school that I work at, and one of my kids has seen, and I log all of the games that I play on the board game app because I just want to see how many games I play in the school year, a whole a whole year, right? Counting the stuff I play with you guys, counting the stuff I play at school. And she's like, "Oh, what are you doing?" I was like, and I explained the whole concept. She's like, "Well, how come you're not counting who wins? I won this game." I'm like. Kiddo, I'm not counting any of the games that I play against a bunch of nine-year-olds for win rate. I'm like, that's not, that's not fair. Like, Mr. Rob plays a lot of games with nine-year-olds. She goes, no, no, square up right now. I'm gonna play you right now. You're trash. You're so trash, bald trash man. And I was like, okay. And I just beat the brakes off of a nine-year-old kid in checkers. And she's like, no. I'm like, yes. Did you I, put it on your app? Oh, I absolutely counted that one. I made sure she watched too while I counted it for win rate. He's like, you said you wanted it. It's the one. It's the one game I've counted the square. I, mean, I, I, mean, I stand, I stand by it. I know. I stand by it. That's that's like I, I have an English degree, and I, I played a twelve year old here. I was teaching him uh, a word game, and he completely beat me without. I was trying my best, and he just he beat me. I'm like, what word game? 
Uh, I believe it was um, words. Uh, the one you have a, a, a row of four and four words, and you have to, letters, and you have to use those letters. Oh, Wordle. It's, it's not quite that. <laughs> it's not Master Word. It's it's the it's designed by Formal Ferret. I know that Gil Holmes uh, is the designer, but I don't recall what the name of the game is. All I can think is Master Word, Trap Words, Letter Jam, Wordsy. I Wordsy think might be that. Wordsy. All right. So now we're moving into the second half. Uh, this one is these are both pitched to both of you at the same time. All right. Ooh. So that's why you have your whiteboard. So you're gonna write down uh, whenever, whenever you think you know it. All right. All right. All right. For number one, for both of you. And there are still hints for these. Yep. They're the okay. same thing. There's okay. three hints. All right. Why is twenty five percent of my house made out of wool? Who made these blueprints? I'm locking in. So you can decide to lock in or not. I am locked in. Riley's either locking in I, or doodling something. I'm not sure. I am going to lock. I'm going to take a second hint because I think I'm wrong. Okay. I'm okay. locked in. Let the record show. I cannot, I cannot change my answer. I'll be sad if I get this wrong, but whatever. Wait, Good. so my crops don't grow just because there's a thief hiding in the field? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's Catan. It's yep. Catan. Both of you are locked in. All right. I should have locked in, but I'm like just like wrong, just unsure enough. I second guess. I bought two copies of Catan this week. I know. Did I'm, I tell you that? Yes. I did. <laughs> one of them was six bucks for okay. a used copy of Catan, and the other one was $2. I'm not, not, I'm not going to not buy it. You do exactly what you said when I told you why. But I'm not going to not. Like, that's yeah. That's, that's too cheap. Yeah. That's like, that's too cheap. I, like, yes. Fun fact, still never play Catan. We need to play it. I, it really is worth playing. I, it, it's worth checking out once. Of all the map, I know you hated it because I know we had our discussion, but it, it's I've played it's worth trying once. I the think. kid version of Catan. Was that as good as My Little Scythe? It was not as good as yeah. My Little Were Scythe. I lo- no. no. And I still lost. <laughs> played it with the same person. Eight at the time, still lost. For the record, we we need to start bringing Janelle to the game nights because I honestly think she would just roll me. A reminder: I've brought her to. We played Sketchy Tales here. Oh my god! Okay, and that was actually one of our first Twitter posts. If if you want to go back all the way to like one of our non-podcast and video-related Twitter posts, way back, um, there's pictures of the drawings from Sketchy Tales. I'm just saying, she's good. Okay, all right. <laughs> Tell her to show up for Blood Rage night. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of want to see that. I don't know if I want to expose her to Blood Rage quite yet. Because I've never played it. It's awesome. I need to prep her. You, Otherwise, she will demolish me. Uh, she I will play it. Uh, <laughs> no, I love that. At first, I was like, oh, that's nice. You're concerned about your dead. No. You're like, I need, I need the prep first. I need to play it at least once before I... Janelle shows up. This is my fire giant. And <laughs> just you know, mows down a bunch of dudes. Oh, it's so good. All right. Oh. Miles, I'm ready. Number two, I will say this is probably the hardest one on the whole sheet. Okay. Oh, okay. and you didn't save it for last. That's no, good. No, right, good. I want to. I want to end on top. You want. You want to feel good at the end. Oh, okay? That makes sense. That's true. All right. Fight for a god in a legally distinct world from Lord of the Rings. While death comes for most, only about twenty-five per player, percent of players want that. There's no way that we just talked about blood rage and this is blood rage. I'm. That's the only thing in my mind. No, I give, give me a second hint. I'll take the second. Right, so I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna lock in and hope I'm right. Hope okay. All right, number two. Uh, it's Big Brother's really into sci-fi, but he's more of a fantasy man himself. It's Big Brother. Is really into sci-fi. What was the first clue again? Fight for a god in a legally distinct world from Lord of the Rings. While death comes for most, only about twenty-five percent of players want that. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Use your resources. Use your resources. Use my resources. Huh? Use my resources. One brief moment, folks. That didn't help enough. (laughs) (laughs) For those of you listening, I turned off the light. I think think I'm going to go for a second, a third hint. Okay. All right. That's insane. This is so good, Miles. Can your faction measure up and see eye to eye with others? What do you, what is a goody guru? Ah, blood rage. I'm just putting blood rage. I have no. Okay. This is this is two thousand percent wrong, and I know it is. So we both locked. We both blood locked rage. in blood okay. rage. Me on the three, him on the one, and it's a zero. That's for both hundred percent. Right? Has to be a zero. There's Ooh. no way. What well, game? I'm gonna be so mad. It was uh, Warhammer: Age of Sigmar. God bless America. <laughs> I should have known. Wow. Yeah, you have, wow. have, have the Silvanus. I, I do have the trees. Eye of the world 
is illegally this stinks. Legally this stinks. There's death. There's twenty five percent of it. Yeah, Big Brother is. Ooh, yep, forty oh k. God and Zinch. Oh my god. Oh my god. That makes me so. That's, that's so, so good. good. That's so good. Even though I fail, I'm failing miserably. Uh, this, this is just is, a great time. This is way better, by the way. I, I don't, don't don't even watch our other episode. We Whoa, this. The, don't whatever. even watch that. This one's way. Watch this twice. The other one talks more about after the rain. That's so true. Okay, that watch one. the I, watch the parts we talk about after the rain. I enjoyed that one. Or at least watch the designer postmortem, which is also out and very good and worth listening. So is after the train the video, <laughs> bro? After the train is actually kind of it's kind of, it's bussin. <laughs> <laughs> to, to use the kids' slang of the days. All right. I don't understand, so let's move on to the next question. Uh -huh. Number well, see, bus. I don't even know what it's <laughs> bussing. <laughs> Just means great. If it's bussing, it's great. It's and, and, and if it's if it's only okay, it's like carring. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so number Cycling. three, it's training. Cycling. <laughs> training. Cycling. <laughs> oh no. Number three, vermilion mammals have crazy adventures past the Louisiana Purchase. I'm walking in. I'm locking past the Louisiana. I'm locking in. I, you are an absolute mad lad. Miles, I love you, and you're a mad lad for that. I'm locked in, baby. I, I mean, the key would be knowing whether or not yep. you know what vermilion yep. is. Yep, and I do. Thank you. Give me the second. Okay. I could read the rules quicker than you could say draw, varmint. This is the best one. This is the best one. Oh my god, Miles, you absolute mad lad. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love I it. I need to know something about this game. Okay. You you should know a lot about this <laughs> yeah. game. Yeah. Um is know. this released in print should, form or just digital? You should know. You should know. You can um, print it out after you buy it. <laughs> you should know a metric ton about this game. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure, I'm going to go ahead and lock in on that too. I'm pretty it's, sure that. I'm fucking mine. This is my, <laughs> it's my <laughs> pan redemption. This is the Desks and Dorks <laughs> first $1, one page role playing oh. game available on itch.io or drive through RPG, preferably itch.io. Yes. Now, that was the only one you could have gotten negatives on if you got it. <laughs> That's fair. Vermilion means red. No, I know. Okay. But I'm like. There's no like I'm like this is we're talking games here. Do you, do you, do you know want to know how I know about what vermilion means? How there's an anime where the vermilion lions are wizards that dress in red. You want to know how I know? That's the only reason. I'm I pretty know. sure there's a crayon that says vermilion. Oh, uh, it's probably. Uh, it's there is red. a crayon with a crayon that says vermilion, and then it has the color red near it. Yeah, Janice knows. Janice it's really helpful for you, those Janice. that are partially colorblind. It's true. Oh, dude, crayon crayons, man. Mm. Good stuff. It's delicious. Uh, the third hint was, who needs a revolver when you got one heck of a one-shot? Oh, oh, that's good. That's awesome. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> Dude, all right, uh, uh, petition to make this like a monthly thing. That's, please. please. More all, not monthly, but more often. Oh, I want it monthly. I want to do this. That's monthly. a Miles petition more than a me petition. I, I could just send him emails once a month just to <laughs> just, make him feel good. Just, just, we, no, we oh, just, no, I'm down we for got, this We show. just bring in like someone else to do the game thing, and you and Miles both come up with questions. Because I realize this is taxing for you. And no, it's fine. I haven't played as many board games. No, I just enjoy being here. That's, that's fair. I enjoy, <laughs> that's what, I enjoy that, you being that's here. That's his feeling every episode. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go so far there. <laughs> if it's just Kyle and I, it's like, oh, I have to be. No. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, God. The Google Meets isn't working again. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's, it's every time. We got it working. We did. Darn. Oh, man. I was, I'm so sad. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to happen. Oh, uh, you can't do? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I got to yeah, solo episode do again. Solo. That's oh. fine. I love you. I love you, <laughs> That's awesome. All right. All right. Number four. Oh, my God. Tell nature where to go in the Yukon. Oh, man. Oh, man. A lot of it's, games about it's nature. one of two games. And I don't know which one it is. I've definitely never played it, so I'm inter I need a second get him. I'm yeah, not. I do too. Uh -huh. I'm not. I'm not confident. I have it. I have like two or three in my head that I think it is. It must be a mating ritual for elks to form conga lines because that's the only way they score. Gosh darn it! I knew exactly what this was, and it was my second guess. So Riley was wrong earlier because you have played it. I'm pretty sure. I'm locking in. Yeah. All right. What do you guys? Cascadia. 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 Yep. Cascadia. Yeah. Yep. I have played Cascadia. It was actually a good it's a game. Great game. The conga line. It was. It's, yeah. 
for some reason, some dude I know is selling Cascadia used, and he's like $60. I'm like, dude, it's not even $60 new. Is it still in? It's yeah, maybe sure. it's his legacy version. He's like throwing on the thing. Oh he's a dry <laughs> erase card. There's well, a Sasquatch that you if can If I'm like, not mistaken, um... It should still imprint. Hawks are Eagles of the Desert, or uh, Wolves of the Desert. Mm-hmm. Hawks are the wolves. See, that, that's the kind of history, the, the <laughs> science lessons you can learn for that kid. That's why Cascadia keeps a, a note in my head. Lives rent-free. Oh. Uh, uh, and the third hint was, uh, I can't pull a rabbit out of a hat, but I can pull a salmon out of a bag. So, anyway. That's fantastic. Ooh. That's fantastic. That was good. Makes me feel better that you and I both got it on the same hint, yeah. even if you did have inklings ahead of time. I had, it was either, so I had Cascadia in my head uh, because of telling nature what to do. But it also could have been parks or um, parks trapped trails. in my mind. But I have, so both of those popped yep. in my head. I have not played either of those. I'm like, it sounds like either parks or the new game trails. It probably is parks. Yep. No, Cascadia was one because you actually have to tell the animals where to go. And you, you do. You build the the park. Right. Uh, Cascade. Well, you don't you don't build a park. You build a world. Wildlife dude. preserve. You literally build a uh, a middle of like some dude's really expensive yacht my, that has like my, a land on it. My world is just elk, and yeah. just and like one bear just floating around in the middle of the woods. Now I have like three salmon. <laughs> like three salmon. All right, this last one here, um, Riley. If you score five points on this one, you can tie the game up. Yes, it's a great thing that this is a bonus round, and I'm eligible uh, for five, and he's only eligible for three. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. All right, here we go. Oh. Play with a partner and decide if this is a co-op game or not by the end. Wow. Ooh, it looks like Riley's wow. walking in. Just Based on your wording, I want to go with this. Okay. I think I'm wrong, but I'm locking in because if I don't get this, there's no hope. Yeah, so I, I have to lock in. And, disguise, and decide if it's a... Are we actually get, Are you actually getting five points if you get this right? I are don't... Are actually doing that? I don't think I don't so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I just, I, all right. Well, give me a second hit, I guess. Okay. Wow, I am... Uh, be sure to talk with your partner before making this a three or more player game. I really want to like. I think what I think I know what, what it is. is it? I don't want to show Google. Okay, one more. Give me another hint. Oh, oh my god! All right. Can I claim that five points I was joking I can't about? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Maybe. We'll if see. Kyle doesn't get it, <laughs> he'll get it on the third hint. I gotta hope so. I have no clue right now. Don't miss your chance for having an encounter in, in the wild. Oh. 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 Have I played this? I believe so. I, I would, I I'm would... pretty sure you have. I'm pretty sure I've heard that you've played it before. Oh, God. This, oh, God. I don't actually know. I, hmm. Only because I'm already locked in. I'm looking uh, at what he's is choosing. Is Tainted Grail? Tainted. No. It's Fog of Love. No! Partner, Kyle. Oh. Partner. Five points, five points. No. Anyway. No. Five points. No. no. Hey, you said no. that you agreed to it no. earlier. You can't no. take it back. That's garbage. <laughs> That's garbage. Whoa, right, with gotta... tied score of 14 That's to 14. Boo. <laughs> boo. All right. I, I want a tiebreaker question. I hate that. I don't think he has a tiebreaker question. <laughs> Smiles. He always has a question somewhere. Uh, oh god, I did not. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I guess you'll have to have me back sometime and then we can settle the score. So Riley's is at eleven. No, <laughs> no. Well, that would be a twelve technically, but you. Well, there we go. You agree? <laughs> no. You agreed no. earlier. You're like, Riley. is that really happening? You're no. like nodding. You were on it, and no. then because you were wrong, you're Riley. Being a loser. All right. You know what? Fine, fine. Take your fourteen points. Take your points. He, I. How so did I we get finished? partner? Because. I don't know. I don't know how you did that. And how oh. didn't you? Because I apparently I've only ever played Fog of Love like three years ago. I've game. only ever played Fog of Love pre-pandemic same. with my brother. With Edgar as well. <laughs> yeah, we played the same <laughs> night. We played, with the, just, <laughs> we played the same Has night. Has anyone actually played Fog of Love with their actual partner? I was Be told sure I to wasn't us. allowed to. Oh, I want to play with mine. No, I don't. Oh, I do. I mean, early in dating, uh, uh, Janice and I played it. Did you? Yeah. Okay, so you're the only person I know that's actually played Fog of Love with, with, their, with their intended audience. Yeah, yeah. And, and when she answered a certain question about uh, encounters in the wild correctly, I was like, mm, yeah, this is the one here. 
So you gotta remember. That's the one, the thing, the question I think when is. Miranda and I play games together, we go for the throats. So How do you go for the throat and fly below? That's what I'm concerned about. Okay, he should lose based on that just entirely. <laughs> There's no way. No, what I'm saying is. It would not end well. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I can't, the mist is what threw me. Because we played Tainted Grail, and the mist is a concept, and you have encounters okay. in the mist. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you, you prior? Because you had that was it. Written. No, that was it. Well, uh, Destinies was the other one, because uh, okay. the mist is a thing there, I well, think. I did take out one word in the second, second hint. It should have said, be sure to talk to your partner before making this a three or more player game. Kinky, but. I would have gotten it. Hmm. I would have gotten it. I would have gotten it. Darn it! Well, uh, well good done. Tie. Sure, good, good, good tie. tie. Good tie. A good tie. Hey, we agreed to the ground rules. You know, we, we did. You didn't have to, and you we, did. We you did. said no. We did. did. I wanted to make it interesting, and you tied, so that's okay. Yep. Still leading in the victories in, the, in this department. Yes, you are. So that that's all right. We, 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 we'll we be good. That was impressive, though, Miles. That was super, super that cool. Was Thank you for having me. Well done to get the Fog of Love, though, too, dude. I doubt, yeah, that was... Oh. If there's one game I can get... It's, it's the game that I played that's about love with my sibling. <laughs> I mean, I, on that beautiful I played note, it with folks. our really good friend. Yeah. Uh, don't, no, no, we're not going to I, I have a weird question to ask, too, before we're about uh, my, my weird question would be directed to Riley. Did, did you insist on playing that game with your sibling? Or? All right, guys. So thank you, as always, for listening into Desks and Dorks, your favorite board game design and creation podcast, shaped by you, bringing you the best in indie tabletop gaming. <laughs> The fact that we're shaped by you, and this is what you people get. You are you are a bunch of sick, sick human beings. <laughs> <laughs> this is our audience. If our as, audience is what has created us. As always, oh. you can youtube.com slash desks and dorks to watch this if you haven't already. You can listen to us by searching on any of your favorite podcasting apps or sites. Just desks and dorks. Geo Savan, we're on there too. It's the best one to say. Any of your favorite social medias, just Google desks and dorks. You can go to desksanddorks.org. You can check out on there. There's some links to see our fully funded 400 times Kickstarter after the rain, which, again, we couldn't have done without you. When we say shaped by you, we literally mean funded, shaped by you. So thank you again for that beautiful, beautiful work, folks. We really appreciate it. We look forward to bringing you that and new things into the future. Uh, there's some really exciting things happening, and we cannot wait to be able to start getting the books out into the hands. We've already got the digital copies released. It's it's a good time. We're we're riding high with it, so to speak. With that being said, <laughs> apparently there's a weird question. I'm, I'm the king. You're only the king because you have one one point and king. we both have... I agreed to even give you a chance, sir. You How did. about show some respect for my magnanimity? It's a great word. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just write the word no on your whiteboard. That's awesome. On all that right. beautiful note. No, no, no. We Kyle, have weird questions. I think has a weird I question. Do. I do have a weird question. Is there right. any? But beforehand, is there anything else that you would like to say, Miles? Yeah. Would you like anything you would like to plug, Miles? Uh, other than let's play games and hobbies. Our friendly local game store in Hanover, Pennsylvania. You should come check it out. Super great. Miles is one of the co-owners of that store. We love them. So come here, buy some games. Tell Miles he's great. Other than that, anything you want to plug? Uh, you, you did it for me. There we go. I did it. And now for a weird question. You have both just been cursed by an ancient bog witch and turned into a lawn care appliance. What lawn care appliance are you turned into and why? Sprinkler system because I'm hydrophobic. <laughs> so that she, she just turns you into the thing you fear the most? Yep. Okay, that's metal. Tell me I'm wrong. I, you're not. I mean, I, I, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. Bog witch? If, if, if a bog witch is going to get me, they're going to turn they, me into, yeah. Oh, God, that's terrifying, because you literally live the rest of your existence, like, as the thing you Soaked hate. in water. Wow. Yep. I, I, like, as you were describing it, cursed by a bog witch, like, yep, makes sense. I'm 100% there. I think it would be the, uh, there's those weird, really weird, long, extended things you use to, like, cut trees. Yeah, so the prune. Yeah, yeah, they're, like, 10 feet long. I just, I would like to be one of the those. The manual so, ones or the powered ones? Uh, I think manual. Okay. I, I, you know, I'm not going to be fancy here. But I'd like one long enough that I could just, like, appear in people's second-story windows and just look at them. Hello! Miles, the 15-foot pole Just like saw. a demented Muppet. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> snip, snip! <laughs> I just leave. That's beautiful. Literally just leaves. That's all that's all you that's what you deal with. I think if I had to be turned into one. I got like a like a set of pruning shears, I think. 
Because, like, you get used all the time. Nobody ever throws their pruning shears out. You ever notice that? Ooh. Like, mm-hmm. like lawnmowers get broken and, like, weed whackers get broken. But, like a, like, a good set of, like, pruning shears, like, no one ever pitches those. They no, just, they just sit in a bucket of oil and then eventually get lit on fire. That's like a... Scraped off and then they get used again. Yeah. It's great. It's like a hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a hot tub for lawn appliances, man. I get a hot tub and constant health care. That's more than I get now as a human. On that beautiful note, folks. We did it. As always, I've been Riley the desk. I'm Kyle the dork. And I'm Miles the weasel. I forgot about the... Yes! I'm sorry again about potential terrible audio quality.